So Ricardo Gareca just walked in the door at Chile and he's already already laying down the ground rules for how the Selección is going to operate moving forward. And what I'm talking about is apparently for Chile's next international break, he has decided to not call up star boy Brereton Diaz. Before we give our thoughts on this, guys, if you like videos about Comebol and the Copa America, make sure you hit subscribe and drop a like on the video. So I'm going to give y'all the direct quote. Should I read the quote in Spanish or English? What's going to help the viewership more? You here? know what? Jack Jack's in Lima, Peru right now, and uh, I'm actually really curious as to how his Spanish is going. So rip it in Spanish, and then you can give us the translation. Okay, so this is what Gareca told somebody. I'm actually not sure. I'm sure. I don't know who asked him this question, but he said, Me gustaría que Brereton aprenda español. Está convocada hace dos años. Ha tenido el tiempo suficiente para hablar español. So, like, I would like Brereton to learn Spanish. He's been called up for two years. He's had enough time to learn Spanish. Si hay un interés realmente de poder estar en la selección, me llamó la atención que no habla el idioma. So, Basically, I noticed or it caught my attention that he doesn't speak the language, which is apparently a problem because I think it was Eduardo Vargas or maybe it was Eric Pulgar who were like, we understand each other on the pitch, but we don't speak English and he doesn't speak Spanish. So I think like outside of Alexis Sanchez, there's probably one or two other Chileans max who speak English on this team, which yeah. isn't that much of a surprise given most of their team is in South America. So... This went pretty viral, and I'm not sure if it's because the public is mad or angry. How do you feel about this? You read this tweet that I sent you, and were you like, right on, get it the man, or were you, was this too draconian for you? <laughs> Tell me how you were feeling. <laughs> and drop in the comments, too. Drop in the comments the opinions, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Um, dude, when I read it, I had like, I turned into my dad. I read it, and I was like, okay. I was like, all right. He's like you said, like you said at the beginning, he's laying it down. He's laying down the wood. He's laying down the foundations. It's his way or the highway in Peru. He had them marchando, marching mm -hmm. straight, direct. It was the rhythm of his drum and it brought them lots of success for a long time, long time, double, triple the long amount time. of time that uh, international managers usually stick around. Um, and dare I say, you want to get on the bus? Start taking Spanish classes. You're you're a Premier League player. You're a Premier League player of Chilean descent. I get it. I get it. It's hard to learn the language. I suffered for 28 years, still suffering currently, and and I still am not perfect. But you got to keep working on it. Case in, literally, case in point, we were talking about it just before we got on. <laughs> My dad sent me this book. It is the hardest book I have ever read. I'm one page in. I already know it's going to be the most challenging thing. And I read Shakespeare for fun. It, it, you have, you have, especially if you are working in an environment like that, right? If you are going to live part of your life in South America and dedicate yourself to the crest, learn the language. Uh, anybody that's seen Dune out there, Paul Moadib, he did it. He'd be learning that language. That's that's no that's spoilers facts. for you. That's no spoilers for you, Jack. The the man, the no, man be did. learning the language. He was he, he, did, he was though. getting into he sand walking. He was getting into sand walking before he even landed. So I don't, I don't know. I'm I'm kind of on. Oh, this he train. learned more than the language. Yeah, he learned more than the language. He learned multiple languages. Mm -hmm. The language of love. The language of the sand. The language of love. <laughs> Shit, I've been fluent in that for some time now. But uh... <laughs> you've been yeah, no, I <laughs> <to me. laughs> I actually teach private lessons. Link in the description. Um, dude, I'm completely. That make more with you money on this than point. the pod. <laughs> <laughs> it's because y'all don't sign up for the Patreon, bro. I'm oh. tired of even talking about it because y'all clearly don't give a damn. So <laughs> we're just going to keep it pushing and talk about Raritan Diaz. Look, I mean, as being in a somewhat similar situation, uh, different in the fact that I, I was never called up to play for the Mexican national team and, um, and whatnot, you know, I think I'm sympathetic because – Spanish can be very, very difficult, especially Chilean Spanish. I mean, the joke is the joke that I saw running around is like, well, does Gareca not know that nobody in Chile speaks Spanish because <laughs> nobody can understand the accent? So I feel for him like I, I'm very sympathetic. But Gareca has a point. This man was called up years ago. 
you're a you're a millionaire. You have the money and the resources to hire a private tutor. If I can hire a private tutor, Brereton Diaz, who is playing for Villarreal and Sheffield United, can do the same thing. And you need to be able to speak. I speak Spanish when I'm playing pickup in Houston. Is it broken Spanish at times? Probably. Do I conjugate verbs incorrectly? you damn right. But at least they understand me and I can understand what they're saying. When they're saying, go up, come back, there's a man on you, whatever, shoot. I can understand all that. I don't know how bad his Spanish is. And if you guys know, drop in, drop in the comments. Like, is he truly not conversational whatsoever? I kind of find that a little hard to believe. Yeah. But then again, he's English. And I think the stereotype that English people, not as an American, but like from England, don't ever speak another language. Maybe that's true in his case. I, I really don't know. But I think it's the right decision. I, I do. Right, yeah, I, I think it's uh, it's a defensible position at the very least. It's a defensible position at the very least, and it's it's valid. Does it suck to not have your star boy up? Yes, of course. Are you hamstringing yourself? Yes. But the idea of Gareca is that he's going to revolutionize your FA from the ground up. That means, ideally, you do not need Diaz. You do not need him to come in right? The idea is to get such good chemistry that you can leave people out, right? If they're not sticking around. And it is what it is. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll put it this way. To put it in perspective, Messi is learning English. Messi's learning English. I know he lives in the United States, but he's in Miami. Very easy to not speak English in Miami. Very easy. If my grandparents can do it in Houston, Miami, it's a, it's a, a, um, you, you do it easily, casually, you know? Mm -hmm. almost no barrier to entry there. But the fact yeah. that, that Messi, famously monolingual, is going through that effort, like, you can too. Messi's a lot busier than you are, dog. And this isn't, look, I don't I don't want to run a smear campaign against Barrington. I think he's fantastic. I think what he's doing in the Prem is, is really good stuff. But, yeah, if I, I think this sets a precedent that nobody is special. Barrington Diaz, you do not eclipse that. You do not eclipse those mm -hmm. requirements. Things are going to run according to Gareca. And I think Burt and Diaz, Burt and Diaz can become conversational in Spanish in six months. Yes. Because yes. what? Is, is family or something? Just have your mom talk to you Just in Spanish. Mom. Literally talk to your mom on the phone for 30 minutes, three times a week. Mm-hmm. And get a Spanish, get a Spanish tutor, get yep. a Spanish tutor. I bet you, I bet you the club will let you have that Spanish tutor talk to you while you're eating lunch. Do it in between training if you just want to keep all your work or go see somebody else an hour, an hour later at like some university, community college. There's got to be services. They'll make house calls for you. Like, I, I, I think it is achievable. It is not a very big barrier to entry for him. Um, and... I think that's excellent. And even if you get like conversational, like broken Spanish, that's perfectly fine. Cause I bet you all of those Chileans are able to speak Spanglish as well. Yeah. Find a blend. And again, th yeah, they'll be able to understand you. And, and I forgot about this. My man signed a transfer deal to Villarreal in Spain. So he's already spent, well, he only spent about half a season. So what, four months probably from the time of his transfer to when he got loaned back to Sheffield. Like, there's four months in Spain, homie. It's time. Like, it's time. It's past due. The assignment's past due now. So. Well, I, I know and, your ass is vacationing in Spain anyway. Do it over the summer. The Prem ends in what? Ten weeks? Yeah. The Prem ends in ten weeks. Go take a month-long trip to Spain. I bet you you could find a, I don't know if he's married or not, but a beautiful advisor. A beautiful tour guide, a beautiful yep. hostel owner there to help you facilitate. <laughs> Find an yes. abuelita. Yes. Just help. Dude. Honestly, this is perfect. This is perfect. Ready? Go, go okay. find yourself like a private hostel. There's an abuelita there that cooks every night. She does meal prep. Help her in the kitchen. Okay. One hour, one, one, one hour, th maybe third, I would say an hour and a half, 30 minutes breakfast, 30 minutes lunch, 30 minutes dinner. 30 minutes of helping her around the kitchen. Boom. Conversational in a summer. In a summer. 
Food and love, the great motivators of language. Easy. Yes. Easy. Anthony Bourdain would tell you the same thing if he was here. Mm-hmm. And you know what? To, to go at it from the Gareca angle, I absolutely love that he has stepped in yes. and made a big call this early. Big. He's t- you've already, you already touched on it. He's looked at the, the biggest. This, this man is the face of Pepsi in Chile, which how wow. down bad is Chile for him? To, that's a different topic. But he's come in, he's looked at one of the stars immediately, the starlet, the star boy, and he said, I'm not calling you up. I'm not calling you up for a match against, I believe it's France, is it not? I'm yeah. pretty sure they're playing yeah. France. That's a big game to miss. And he's coming in and he's setting the standard immediately. And you know what? This is the one that's gone viral, right? Because it's, it's kind of funny. It's kind of, some people will say, unfair. But I guarantee he came in and he had an entire list of other things that are no longer acceptable. Yeah. This is just the one that caught the headlines. This is the one exactly that, what you need to do. God, you hit that right on the head. I bet you that this was not an isolated thing. He came in with the whole list. He says there's going to be some changes here. It's <laughs> like you still haven't seen Patton, but when Patton shows up to the front lines, oh, my God, starts changing everything, changing mm-hmm. everything. He probably walked into the locker room or the training ground for the first time and just had a disgusted look on his face, just looking around at everything that needed to be completely overhauled. Yeah. And and Chile needs that, bro. Chile, Chile needs, needs that. that, bro. They need that so bad. Um, put, put, in, put in the work now. It's going to be way better later on. Way mm-hmm. better. Oh, my gosh. You put that work in, you qualify for the next World Cup. And that's the goal. And do that's you know what? Gareca also said that this is not a requirement for future call-ups. So he said, like, if he doesn't learn it, I won't not call him up for that, but I would like him to to learn. And now I'm very, very interested to see how yep. Brereton Diaz responds to this. Does he step up to the challenge, or does he become a little spoiled footballer and, and cries, f- you know, foul play here? Because if he, if he meets this task, I think Gareca – will have a lot of respect for him. I think the Chilean fan base will have respect for him. I don't know what the situation is with the captaincy, but could he get it one day if he that, achieves his milestone? I think so. He's got to do it. That's He's captain behavior. Do it. That's captain behavior. That, yeah. You and do that. What a story. What a story. What a story. That first, that, first, that first interview, that first interview after your World Cup win, not world, not actual trophy win, but your first like group stage World Cup win, that first Spanish interview, going to taste all the sweeter. All the sweeter after that. It's going to be a banger. And let's also not act like Brereton Diaz is undroppable Yeah, from Chile, okay? He's got zero goal involvements in qualifying so far. Not good. I think Jake said when he saw Ecuador beat Chile, he did say Brereton Diaz was like the only piece of quality on the pitch. So my man doesn't have a lot of help, but still, you know, he's not putting up Harry Kane numbers and his team's just not winning in spite of that. In fact, in the last two years, I got to look at this again because it looked kind of crazy. He's got three goals and one assist for Chile in the last two years. Those three goals were in one game. He had a hat trick against the Dominican Republic in a friendly it's not enough. No, it ain't enough. Then that's why it Chile are where they are. Yep. Were they eighth right now? I think Chile's eighth. Probably. Don't matter. They near the bottom. Minute. No, it doesn't matter. It literally does not matter. It wouldn't mm-hmm. matter if they were eighth. Now, if this guy's banging in five goals a game, okay, then we can talk about this, right? If he's putting up, mm-hmm. I don't even know, Bellingham numbers, or if if he is genuinely a talisman, if the team doesn't operate with him, genuinely, I think Gareca might do the exact same thing. I don't. I don't know though. It's, I think it's a really class move by Gareca, and I want to see a class response from Brereton. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm I'm sure Gareca again probably got off the airplane, private jet. You know how he moves, and he probably went to the local Oxo or something, and he saw a Pepsi can and he saw Brereton Diaz's face on it, and he picked it up. He looked at it. He, you know, at his of course his uh, Chilean advisor next to him, and he probably asked him something like. You know, cuantos goles tiene? Like, how many goals does he have? And the guy said, siete, seven. He's got seven. And then he said, not enough. Not enough. Not enough. I'm dropping his ass right now. <laughs> 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 Spit 
it on the ground. I mean, that's probably how it went down. <laughs> hey, let me tell you, being in Peru right now, Gadek is a legend, dude. Yeah. He is. Like, huh? we kind of knew that. They have a mural of him but, over there, right? Oh, I mean, I haven't seen it yet, but every single male that I have asked, do you like football? Yes. The second question I ask is, what do you think of Ricardo Gareca? And they all just immediately, you just see this, like, sadness. Just, I mean, it just comes over them slowly. You just see a frown. And they kind of look down. And they're like, I miss him. Repeatedly, that's what I hear. Repeatedly. I mean, you have to. You, you, you have mm-hmm. to. Yeah. He, he could was, be that for Chile. He could be that for Chile. He could be that for Chile. That's the idea. And this is the first step in a long line. I'm I'm sure. <laughs> oh, he's got a he's got a lot to do. <laughs> like this is a big task, man. But um for the sake of time, we should move it on to the other topic. Um you guys let us know in the comments what you think about Gareca leaving out. He's put a Spanish language barrier literally inside the Chilean national team. 